Hi, this is Google's next Nexus device. It's called the Nexus 9. It's an 8.9 inch device. It's a bit larger than the Nexus 7 that came out last summer. And it's also, it also looks a lot like the Nexus 5 because it's got the same matte plastic backs with straight sides. But the difference here is that it's got the aluminum sides. Now it's built in collaboration with HTC. So it's got some unique elements like boom sound. So you got the speakers, uh, the, sorry, the stereo speakers on top and bottom here on the front side. So we expect the sound to be pretty dang good on this thing. The resolution is 2048 by 1536. So roughly a pixel density of around 280 PPI. Not too shabby. Uh, I didn't have any problems with the display at all. Like it's not going to blow your mind by any means, but it's also not going to make your eyes bleed. So... The baseline price here is $399, which is on par with the iPad Mini 3 and the original iPad Air. So if you're looking and comparing between the two, this is right in between the two in terms of screen size, but the same price. But if you want to get more storage or LTE connectivity, then you are going to have to pay more. Now it also comes with an 8 megapixel camera on the back with a 1.6 megapixel camera on the front. And it's got a pretty solid battery, 6,700 milliamp hours, so I'm excited to see exactly how well this performs. Now, the key thing about this is it's a 64-bit processor. And it also happens to come with 64-bit support on the software side as well, because Android 5.0 Lollipop comes built in with that 64-bit support. So it's going to be exciting to see the performance on the scene and how it compares with uh, iOS devices that already use 64-bit. This is going to be the very first Android device that we use with that capability. Now also Lollipop uh, comes with a whole bunch of features. We're going to go into more details on exactly what those features are, but it comes with the new material design user interface. It looks beautiful, it looks clean and flat, and I'm pretty impressed so far. And some of the new features that they've thrown in are really, really clever. Now the device is going to be coming out on November 3rd. And pre-orders are already available, so if you are interested in this, go ahead and grab it. Now, if you also want more information about the Nexus 9, go to our in-depth hands-on. Thanks for watching this. My name is Brad with Engadget, and thank you so much for watching. Starts at $4.99 for the Wi-Fi only version, and is simply a generational jump. That means it's thinner, lighter, and gets small bumps in several different features.